This week is recognizing what you've done and how you've done it as a leader in the business, as a professional, as a person. Take credit for what you've done and really go through a thorough self-examination of why and how and the pieces and parts that you put together in your own performance, in your team's performance, in your own life so that you can grab hold of that and bring that into 2012, 2013 and continue on the spectacular journey that you're on, that we're all on together. Do some things that stretch you out of your comfort zone. This week is about understanding who you are, how you view yourself, and how others view you. How can you continue with your own self-development? How can you look a little differently at who you might grow and develop? This is my first time at Angels Institute, and I'm just so super excited to connect with the top talent we have here and really learn um, their best practices and take that to my store and really um, better our best. And I would say I'm here because of my team. Um, I think it's really about finding people's genius and what they have within them and really playing to that in their development and finding self-development within them every day. What's going to make me stronger as a leader throughout the week is actually being able to be open, being able to be receptive. It's really about providing these emotional experiences. We have great product. We have amazing stores. We have to work hard and collectively work on creating great emotional experiences for our customers. Everything we do starts with the customer and ends with the customer. When she says, I'll take it, we know we've done our job really well. The teams were divided into colors, uh, and from colors, uh, we went into insight about uh, how it related to uh, our job or our personal lives, and we were able to expand on that. I'd never had an aura reading or really never thought about meditation. Um, I found it to be eye-opening in a lot of ways. You know, we were able to dig inside and kind of ground ourselves and, and you know, what what bothers us? I mean, and it all stim stimulated from a color. So, I mean, it was absolutely amazing. Everything for us starts with color. You know, color never really goes away as a fashion. When you look at it from an emotional perspective, you can just take it as far as you want to. I like the color blue. It's very calming no, and said, relaxing. You yeah. said, exactly. A red lollipop, a cardinal, Kool-Aid, sunburn. Pretty amazing how it's just a color related to different people in different ways, and then to a story that had a profound effect in our life. My husband proposed to me in an apple orchard. So green always reminds me of apples. When she thinks of her role, she thinks about her daughter's bedroom, because her favorite color is pink. Confidence and fun. Innocence and rebirth and the start of a new journey. Take this time to think about what grabs you visually and open yourself for this moment of inspiration to capture your story in photographs. And that will, in turn, ripple out and inspire others. Today was uh, a chance for us to be connected emotionally. And uh, I, re I really connected. I put myself out there, was a little bit vulnerable. And being vulnerable, is, it's a wonderful thing because it makes you get to the true root cause of things. And I feel like if I don't keep my hand on everybody's back, we won't perform at the level to achieve this. So not showing them this side of me, they only see the one side of me. And that's my hand right there, and that encouragement to keep going. Because I always have two hands on my own back. As sales leaders with the organization, it's stretching us to be better people. We're thinking more at that emotional, personal level that's gonna help us to connect better. This year, I will be best at bras by being up 15% to last year. Develop deeper personal relationships with my internal and external customers. I will not rest in 2012 until 30% of our customers receive a bra fitting. My goal for 2012 is to grow my business $1.5 million. You know, color feeds your soul. I learned some different ways to explore 
um, and to develop myself that I never would have done before. Um, and it really challenged me and stretched me and made me feel really comfortable doing it and uncomfortable at the same time. My color is blue. My color is gold. My color is pink. I once was a brownish black sheep, an outsider, so to speak. I took a provocative self-portrait. I was unsure to let it leak. I did it, and now I love who I am, and I am no longer weak. My color is purple. My color is red. Under the lights of the amphitheater, I beat my arch rival and took home the first place golden trophy. We're all responsible for growing one another. An associate taught me to be curious. A bra specialist taught me how to love the customer. A sales leader taught me to listen. A functional manager taught me to be a student. A store manager taught me how to become a teacher. And being a district manager has taught me when to be the coach and when to become a player. There isn't a secret recipe to becoming platinum every year. The only way to truly excel is to succeed in the role that you are currently in by challenging yourself on a daily basis. For us, we took our walls down, we took our blockers away, and many of us on day one, we would not share, we didn't, we didn't trust, we didn't believe, we didn't wanna believe, and all from one color, we now on day four have forged a sisterhood. This week, Exploring Purple helped us realize the importance of connectivity and inclusion as it relates to our connection to each other. The string on our wing represents all of our different journeys and how we are all tied together with a common thread. This group of blue is peaceful, calming, and positive. When we look at our individual pictures, they all mean something different to us. Then you look at them as a whole and they tell a much bigger story. Our story of our connections, of change, and of triumph. I can honestly say we did not give up. We cried together, we laughed together, and we became a family. I'm excited about coming back from this conference and sharing uh, what I learned, but also re-inspiring my team to do it again this year. Thank you so much for what you delivered for us last year and what you're about to do for 2012 and many, many, many more years. Thank you, congratulations. We go back to our stores invigorated to listen, connect, and inspire our teams, our customers, as well as our family and friends. We take back a respect for the journey that others have been through and for who they are today. Coming to work and feeling proud and empowered to make women feel amazing about themselves is so incredible. I couldn't ask to work for a better company. This journey of taking a simple color and using that as a gateway to a personal experience, which at first blush is somewhat innocuous. And then we drill down and suddenly it's actually a very meaningful, deeply personal experience. Mm -hmm. And then the final act is how do we distill this into its essence and then communicate it back to the group. And it's very powerful. All the women really connected because they saw themselves in each other's stories and they were able to open up and really have empathy and, and, and a deeper understanding of people. When you're talking to a customer, if you can get to the essence and get to the emotion, you're gonna be much more effective in your connection with them. It doesn't matter how many days they go through a workshop, they will keep having these echoes that yeah. go on like that color wheel um, <laughs> and it just spreads out and out in different tints and hues that they're mm -hmm. going to touch all the people in their lives and I like that that you know someone today first day came up to me and said that I so needed this and I'm going to be taking this back to my store yeah. with people and oh. start doing this with them. Oh and, that's awesome. Yeah and you just think that it will get stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm.